always been I've been really excited about the the style creator to see how that was going to be rolled out. I think like looking at it the first time, I was a little bit confused. To be honest, I was like, "What? Wait, what am I doing?" Like, and then I realized what was going on. And I was know, too. Go through this. <laughs> okay, so again. then let's yeah, start there then, cash. because I I was I was feeling the same way actually. I mm -hmm. like went through it two separate times, and I felt like an idiot. And I was like, "Am I not doing this right?" Yeah. You know what I mean? So, like, let's just let's put something in. We'll run through this together. I'm just gonna do my favorite short emoji prompt here and let's let's talk about what you did wrong because for me i know i did just about everything wrong before i did it right yeah i was like wait what am i like am i choosing multiple ones am i choosing like just one and then i would keep hitting skip grid and once i hit like because i was like i didn't know that you had to then refine style so yeah i mean if you want to we should probably go through this. First off, it's on the left oh. now, on your left hand side. <laughs> it says Yeah, right data here. In data. Is this is this on alpha or is this on regular now too? This is on regular. Regular? Okay. So yeah, that's there. And then you'll get this grid of I think this is what, eighteen? Uh no, twenty one. Twenty one images. You can also on the right above select styles, you can make the grid smaller, right? So that's the one thing, trim it back down to uh, to ten images. I was looking at it in this view to make it easier for myself. But Same. It, apparently, the way this thing works is you have to just run through this a couple times. You have to go through a few different styles that you want to like and a few different uh, few different avenues to sort of refine your style. We'll have Faye make a guest appearance here to say hi. <laughs> hey, <laughs> baby Faye, what's yeah. going on, girl? Yeah, she's she's like, oh yeah, you guys are talking about mid journey. Let me in. Um, it must be Friday. <laughs> you idiots are talking again. God. Yeah, but there's uh, so that was what first got me. I was like, wait, do I hit refine style now after I clicked on one, or do I? I mean, I was so confused because yeah, I I went here, choose a prompt to refine. I'm like, okay, uh -huh. I I think I did that right. Select your favorite style. So I'm thinking favorite means heart. Ah, uh, okay. So I'm going through and I'm like hitting these right mm. and i'm not seeing anything change like so i'm like okay like and then i'm like okay so then i go down here and it says submit to receive a new grid so then i'm uh. hovering this and it says submit and so i'm like hitting submit and i'm like going through this process for like 15 20 minutes and i'm like i don't think this is getting any closer to anything that i'm trying to do and so i was like yeah. wait a second that's that's not right. Like, what am I supposed to be doing? And I went back and watched that video, that quick video that, that mid journey dropped. And it was like, Oh, just, you know, click it. And I was like, Oh, idiot. I'm an idiot. Also, you know, it says submit to receive. I think they need to, to sort of refine that by saying click refine style. Right. Because mm -hmm. I was hovering this and I, I thought this meant submit. Right. And so I was yeah. just like, yeah, it took me a while to sort of like get my bearings on that. I was really, really confused. But um, I think those are all the ways you can fail with this so that we covered the bases with that. But mm -hmm. the idea is that, right, you're selecting your favorite styles that you're trying to go for with ever look that you're going to. And first reaction, Roy, this feels a lot like style tuner, bro. A lot yeah. like style tuner. Very much so. Um, so, you know, you can select one, you can select multiple, right? But each time you're selecting these and then you're going to hit refine style and it updates your style. Um, if you don't like any of these, to your point, you can skip this grid entirely. We get a brand new grid, right? So you're not necessarily confined to that either. Um, and then, you know, like, so like, let's just, let's maybe go through this. Let's just say this and this, we're going to refine the style this starts to generate here. Uh, and then I think I saw something from mid journey. It's like, Hey, you, you probably need at least five, uh, to feel like a solidified output on this. Um, but you could go up to 15, 20, 30. Right. And I think probably the more that you do, uh, the more solidified it would get. Um, but it was just, yeah, it was really interesting to kind of like go through that process for the first time. I didn't think it was super intuitive. Um, and it makes me feel better that you got it wrong too, actually. So, 
Because then I'm like, what's happening on the side here? Like, what are these four images that are generating? And then I'm like, I'm trying to click on them. They can't happen. It took me like a minute to realize that it was popping up in the in the create. <laughs> and, and, then, and then and I didn't want to like click over and lose my spot either. Yeah, so like I exactly. opened up a new tab and I'm like, oh, okay. So this is what it would currently look like. Okay. Let's, you know, let's do something else. This is going to generate a unique uh, style number for you style code yep so you're going to get that so that's essentially the output that you're going for here um i don't know i'm just picking ones that i that i think are cool here do that we'll click refine style again that's four uh i don't know these are kind of cool this is um, this is one thing if you go back to your create page i think everyone should should highlight or just at least know which i am happy about this feature is that each one of these new like refine gives you a new code, code. Yeah. So it's like, even if you like, it's not like you lose your progress and like, you, it's like it wiped out if you like selected a style and it totally like bombs it. It's like, all right, I can still have like go back. To what that made me feel good. Cause I, I it yeah. eliminated the anxiety of fucking it up. You know what I mean? I was like, I don't know if I want to pick this one. Is this one going to mess it all up? You know, but yeah, that's a great point. That's a great point. Cause I, you know, I want to play with it. Like I want to see like, what is this like random style thrown in here do? Absolutely. You know, which is good. And that's, you know something that I was I was pretty impressed with, which I was like, okay, good thought, because I know that's exactly what the first thing that would go through my head was. If I'm going to keep doing this, it's going to keep updating in real time. I'm going to want to have some like history tracking on that. A hundred percent. I'm glad they did that. That was really smart. Yeah, I like that. I think the one thing, just like with all codes, though, uh, where can I save this? You know, I got to create a folder for this. You know, the ones yeah. I really like. You know, smart it's going to be hard to keep track. Way. Yeah. I would say smart folder. If that's the best way to do it, you're going to use a style code as the as the parameter there to save in the smart folder. And then you can save your styles that way. It's just, yeah. I mean, it's going to be, uh, organization isn't my thing. <laughs> it's not my thing either. So, yeah, we're aft either way. But, um, yeah, I think this is super interesting. What are you... What are your, I mean, with you being so, like, I just remember you were so excited about Style. Style Tuner was your baby. I don't know how yeah. deep you've gone into this yet. Like, how excited are you for this feature? Does this feel like something that you're going to use? I would like a little bit more control, I guess, when we thought about, like, what was going to go into this. It still feels a little bit random. Like, I'm just creating, like, a mood board from random images at this point. Which I'm like, you know, I'm not upset about it. I think it's pretty cool that you can do this. Um, and it's fun to blend, but it's, it's like basically up to the curation of image sets that you get in your grid to see if you like it. It's like, what if I like none of them and I'm swiping through five times? And I'm just like, all right, it's not what I'm looking for. 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 I'd like to have like maybe a functionality where I could drop in an image and be like, all right, or like use. Ooh, yeah. Like like the search function on that some way to like go through the styles and like click the ones that I'm looking for, like how you can do this, not, not just the smart search, yeah. but search in the styles. Um, yeah. This feels a little random still. And it's not a bad thing. It's just like, I'm, you know, sometimes I'm, I want to you know, look for certain colors or I'm looking for certain, you know, textures or whatever. Um, you know, I'm saying this, like I've used it a million times. I've used it twice. Think. I think those no, but those are good. Those are good callouts, though, man. I, I'm yeah. with you 100 percent on those. Like if you could use the smart search in here, like let's just say you you know you used like the the little smart search, a little uh, magnifying glass search on one of those styles, and it brought up the other styles, like like in the explore page. That would like, be that dope. Would be, yeah, to almost like yeah. quickly refine within that sort of aesthetic. Yeah. Yes. So yeah, that's, like that. That's sort of where my head's at with those. Because it's like right now, I kind of, you know, again, this feels like SRF random. I like it. I feel like it's, I feel like it's also getting, the more you refine them, a little bit more tailored it's getting downstream. Like it's a little less random. So it's a little bit more like in tune with, with what the style already is. Mm. I might be wrong on that, but that's just sort of how I was interpreting it as it moved along. Yeah. And, and you'll notice that I collect, uh, complete tutorial here and this changed. Mm -hmm. So this yep. is now showing these in a little bit of a larger format, says the ideal minimum, showcases your OG, blah, blah, blah. Tells you how many times <laughs> you refined it. Okay. 
I liked OG as an original generation. Like I like OG. That. Yeah. <laughs> and in and in true live fashion, I have to I have to go close my door real quick. So just 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 continue on without me for once. I mean, you should have just <laughs> left and gauged my reaction of like what the hell's going on here. But See ya. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Yeah, man, this is interesting. I mean, um I I love that this is here. I think, um, to your point, I, I like the recommendations that you just sort of pointed out, maybe some areas that you could add that seem relatively easier, quick, that would maybe dial this in, save you a little bit of time on the exploration side of it, maybe even get a little bit better cur- curation from that standpoint. Um, my knock outside of just like the intuitiveness of like getting in here for the first time, and we're just like keeping it real hundred percent here. I mean, is I just... I don't know how much I need this. Yeah, it's fun. Just another fun thing to do. I mean, it's do. it's fun. I I just um I don't know if I need it. Right? Like it's like uh, we've we've got style codes. We've got style explorer. Um, you can blend codes. Right? I, it's just kind of like it. It continues to go deeper and deeper into that. And I don't know. It's I don't know. For me, I I, I don't know. It, it remains to be seen how often I'll use this. But uh, I do think it's always fun to get something new. And uh, it's just a different way to get to um, maybe a unique result that you could use in a project in that sense. It's definitely a good way to burn some fast hours, like <laughs> just, just refine, like, continuously refining and running through this stuff. Um, and, and then also, I think we should probably also note that you have to remember if you like that code to sort of end session. <laughs> That's one thing to, that was one <laughs> thing I noticed that I kept that going oh. back in there. Yeah. And then so you so you, there, is there a benefit of clicking end session then? That's a, well, if you don't, it's just going to keep evolving the style with all the the style like the history tracking in there, right? So yeah. it's going to keep. If you want to start fresh, like oh, I'm looking for an animated style versus like a photorealistic style, right? Like it's all going to sort of start to blend if you don't end. Oh, session, that is right? true, right? So if you leave and yeah, maybe come back and it's still open and you forget. Correct. Yeah. Because you see yeah, over here, yeah. it has your like your refinement number one, two, three, four, five, mm-hmm. six, seven, eight. When you end session, it'll go back to OG. Yep. That's Ooh. a good point, man. So that was that was definitely something that I noticed. Like, oh, okay, I have to stop this, or else, <laughs> or else, who who knows what? It'd be like when I just tag like fifteen mood boards in an image to see what it'll get me, <laughs> see how random it'll be. I know, right? Like, let me just check all yeah. these and let's see what happens. Um, right. so with that said, let's end this. Um, yeah, so this is what this, you know, this is the screen it takes you to when you get here. I think, you know, if you haven't been in here yet, learn from us, uh, maybe save yourself a good 30 minutes or an hour in case you're idiots, just like us. And you do everything yes. that you're not supposed to do before you can do what you're supposed to do.